So this is this is the result of a survey of our senior citizens. So 30, 45% of it are dependent, 45% is dependent on their children and relatives. Diba kay ibang magulang daw si ang anak? Para sa January kay June, kay ate, sa February, tama ba yun? The 30% dependent on government pension and charity. But have you heard anyone saying, parang sobra ating SSS benefits or GSIS? I think that seldom happens. Then 23% still working. They have no choice but to work. Then only 2% is financially independent. So we want to work out that we will belong to this, not the 2%. So nobody plans to fail in life. They fail because they did not plan. Diba? Wala namang tao ang sasabi ng Chris, alam mo, gusto ko pagtanda ako, maghirap ako. May, plan, may tao bang nagpaplari ng ganun? Wala. Pero a lot of people, a lot of old people, are in that situation. Why? Because they did not, they did not plan for it. Matagal pa naman ang retirement ko eh. Sa kanayan, ito pa yung responsibilidad ko. So first, to that we mean we're to put our money to have our financial plan. Let's examine first, ano yung sitwasyon natin ngayon? Di ba, may problema ba pagbayad ng bills? Dati kuryente lang tsaka ang tubig. Ngayon, ano, may sun, may globe, may cable, may broadband. So more than 50% actually goes to the bills. Tapos yung credit card, di malima pa. Di ba, yung isa, June ang first week, second week yung isa, dito ang third week. Kaya halos pong sweldo, pambayad ng bills. And sometimes, not enough. Are we concerned about our job or career? I mean, the salary that we are receiving isn't enough to materialize our dreams. If not, then it's imperative to look for other sources of income. I'm not saying to be of your work. Um, the important point is, don't be solely dependent on your salary. Because my challenge at the time when I went back to the Philippines was the pay. So I really have to do some businesses just to compensate for the difference. Then, are you paid what you're worth? Asa na natin ang sweldo ko, baka malugi ang kumpanya. Ang hirap ko busin ang sweldo. May nagsabi na ba doon? Wala ka naman siguro. Then, this is a very common challenge between us. Diba? Nasa 40s na tayo, may nagkopaleyo ng mga anak, may aging parents. Kailangan ng pera, both situation. Tama ba? Pero sino mo na namin mo? Old parents? Bedridden parents, mga anak, or ikaw, kasi approaching retirement ka na rin. The clear thing is, ihuhuli mo sarili mo. So that's why a lot of people were not able to prepare for their retirement. Kaya aasa sa mga anak. Kayo mga ako, aasahan ng mga anak mo. Right? So they have cycle lang siya. So our challenge right now is to cap that cycle. So do you feel your financial trap is affecting your family? As we say, Money may not be the most important thing in this world. Would you agree on that? But it affects all the important, important things in our lives. Is education important? Mm -hmm. Daddy gusto kong mag-medicine. Naku, ano ko natin yung pera? Mag-test lang ka na lang. Diba? This is an example. So, binaba mo kaagad yung pangarap ng anak. So, it's like passing you by. Isang click 10 years, another click 10 years. Naku, mag-retire na ako. With all this challenge, diba, financial problems actually are a common source of stress. So it really it affects our, our lives. And sometimes you think, parang wala nang pag-asa. But then the good news is we have solutions for these, for these problems. Diba? Um, one of the greatest discoveries of the 20th century is the importance of mindset. If you think you'll be wealthy, then you do everything. You'll find yourself, your movement, your actions, going towards the goal. So this is our vision. So this is our problem. This is our solution. So increase your cash flow. So that can involve this. Make more money when you can, while you can. Diba ka bang bata ka? Have multiple sources of income. Then cut down your expenses. So these two should go together. Hindi pwede na triple yung income mo, pero nag-quadruple naman yung expenses. One common problem that we have is habang tumataas ang income, tumataas din ang expenses.
So reduce your debt and liability at the slope 50. Understand how money works. Our goal is to find a facility wherein we will get maximum returns from our money. I will discuss those facilities later. This is very important. Have a financial goal, have a financial objective, and plan for a future. At the end of the year, how can I benefit your network? Five years from now, ten years from now, how can I benefit your network? Diba sa kumpanya na pagsana tayo, kung paano makatipid, paano kumita. So we should translate that on a personal level. So change and expect to succeed. Dati, okay na mag-time deposit. Dati, okay na mag-deposit sa rural bank, 10% a year. But right now, times are changing, so we have to adapt. Diba kunyari tayo, same amount of money in invest. So all the investment niya po, nag-savings account na kayo ng equities. The time that you retire, umabot kayo ng million, ako 100,000 lang. So that's a consequence. Hindi tayo open sa new industry. So control your future. Diba kahit married people, wala naman sigurong sinabihan, hey, kahit matulog ka na, ako bahala sa kanimukasan mo. May ganun ba? So dapat tayo. That decision should come from us. So these are the steps that we recommend to become financially secure, you're financially independent. So I will focus my discussion on the first step, the next few slides. So increase your cash flow, that's very important. Because once you address the first step, everything will follow. Second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay, so these are the three concepts I'll discuss to, to guide you on what facilities to put, where you have to put your money. Kasi karamihan ng tao, gusto lang safety. Diba? Sa bank ko yung pera ko, so dito lang ako, nakalimutan ko yung growth. Ang interest ng, time, ng savings account, 0.25%, pero ang inflation, 6%. So essentially, we're losing more than 5% of our money. 